folks, so here is my RC lawnmower. Took me about two months to build. I'm running off of a Fly Sky. Uh, it uses a saber tooth um, inside uh, the motor controller, dual 32 amp. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, breakouts for voltage. It's running off of 24 volts. So then it breaks down the voltage to 12 and then down to another 5. I'll show you how that is. Um, it's still, it's a constant work in process. There's something always breaking on it. But, I mean, since I built it from scratch, uh, it's pretty easy to, to fix and maintain. I'll go over it and show you. There are some things uh, I did not want to compromise, and that is on safety, which is this lever here. I'll show you in, in detail. All right, so here is the safety lever that I told you about. Now, I made this with a, a bike brake, and I did not want to compromise on the spring. The spring over on the other side is uh, at that tension for a reason. Uh, the spring is at that tension, so it will stop the flywheel, it is the brake. There, so it's like a feather. Um, it, it, it holds it very feather-like. Now to shut it off, um, either the power on the controller will shut it down, or this switch up here will shut it off. So if I flick this switch, it shuts it off, it shuts the mower off, and stops the flywheel. So yes, it is running onboard video, first person view, which is really nice. I've got the selfie stick here. It's working all right. It can go up and down if needed. Okay, so these wheels are from a Jazzy Motor purchased off of eBay without a brake. Uh, there is a seller on eBay that sells these. He hasn't sold a lot recently, uh, so good luck. Uh, I would like to replace these with some knobby tires, which I have found, but are going to require a little machining. Um, these wheels here are from Harbor Freight. They are the 8 or 9 inch pneumatic wheels, which are great for off-road. Here's the safety, like I mentioned. It has a servo underneath. And this is a uh, this is a latch from you know, fence latch. But one time I uh, ground down the sides of this to fit in the fence latch. Fence latch uh, that compromised this brake cable and it broke right here. So do not do that. I did it. What I did is I ended up doing is grinding down this. Just enough so that way when it fit it was feather it had a feather like connection um, again this is a brake system and I want it to be as safe as possible so okay so here's the electrical box the main power switch here I have a uh, amp uh, circuit breaker this is to charge it but the problem is it it only works on one of the batteries because I have a 12 amp or 12 volt charger and the batteries together in series is 24 volts so when I need to charge one of the batteries I have to disconnect over here I have to disconnect this I can charge one by itself and then the other one I can charge on these terminals. I might look into getting a 24 volt charger. Okay, so in here, I've got a Sabertooth 232 motor controller. That's two motors at 32 amps. Right here is the FPV transmitter for the 
video. Camera. So power comes in. It goes to the main switch first. I'm gonna try and show this. Okay, so here is power in. No, that's not. <laughs> okay, here's power in. Follow it, it comes up to the it comes up to the circuit breaker first. It comes out of the circuit breaker, comes into the switch, goes out of the switch, and half of it goes into the saber tooth. The other half of it goes into this 12 or 24 to 12 converter. That's because I've already fried one um, video transmitter because of dirty power. So I got another 12 volt, volt converter. So this is 24 to 12. This goes into this one. You can't see, there's two of them. Which converts it from 12 down to 5. The 12 I use for the video transmitter. The 5 I use for the RC transmitter, which is up, up there. You can see it. So yeah, it's up, up there. Oh yeah, and the 12 is also powering the fan. I got 12 that's powering the fan and the video transmitter. I have five volts that's powering just the uh, transmitter. Now I wanted that in case there was an issue with the um, saber tooth. I don't have to rely on its power. Now, when you are wiring these together, uh, you do have to remember to digital ground. So from the transmitter, or the receiver, I'm sorry. From the receiver, you want digital ground to go between the receiver and the saber tooth. Because you're going to pull the... Um, you're going to put the, the digital controls for the controller go into the saber tooth. And yeah, just don't forget ground. Even though it's powered off of the 5 volts from the uh, converter, you still need to ground the saber tooth. That's an issue I ran into. Alright, so yeah, like I mentioned, it is still a work in progress. Um, I want to get some wheels and um, do a couple of other things to it. Oh yeah, I need to uh, put a pipe flange on here, so I'm going to secure this so it's better secured and Right now, yeah, I'm having a video issue, but I'm almost through working out all of the issues, and then it's just going to be one crazy summer.